So we have seen in many cases of finding the area of a triangle in geometrical concepts, we all know that area of a triangle is half into base into height. So how do you connect that with the coordinate geometry? So let's see how area of triangle when it is given in intercept form can be found. Say for example, I take the x axis and the y axis and the origin and I say I have a line which has intercepts A and or I have intercepts x1 and y1 so that my coordinates of A are x1 0 and my coordinates of B are 0 y1 because when I take that in intercept form then my coordinates would be respectively for A and B. Now I wanted to find the area of this triangle OAB. How do I find the area of triangle OAB? Now since I identified this to be a right angle triangle, clearly the base is this and the height is this. Therefore using the formula half into base into height I get this to be the base which is wo A and the height which is wo B. So height half times wo A times wo B which I keep in modulus because sometimes the distance on the left and on the bottom would be negative since the values of x on the left would give the negative sign. So negative sign indicates the direction of axis but doesn't indicate the distance of the point from the origin. So this is taken as half times mod base, the base which is x1 and y1 square units. So when generally the line is given in intercept form, I have the area of the triangle in using intercepts as half times x intercept into y intercept under modulus square units is how I get the area of triangle OAB in this manner, connecting the intercepts with the area. Now let's find area of triangle which is not in intercept form because if it is in intercept form that would be the most simplified form where the base and the height can be easily identified. But if it is not a right angle triangle, if I have any triangle in the XY real coordinate system, then how do I find the area of such triangle is what we are going to discuss here. So let's derive a formula for area of triangle. So in order to do that, let me consider a triangle in XY real coordinate system. So to start with, This is x-axis and this is y-axis and this is origin. So I take the triangle ABC in the first quadrant assumed in the first quadrant. So let me take the triangle AB and C which is in the first quadrant whose area I need to find right here. So in order to find the area of this triangle let me take the coordinates of A which are x1 y1 and the coordinates of B which are x2 y2 and the coordinates of C which are x3 y3 n order. By using this let me drop perpendiculars from B to say this is D and from A to E and from C to F. So there are three perpendiculars I drop in from B, A, C as D, E, F on X axis. Similarly, let me drop in a perpendicular from B to A, F which is say G. Now this is 
how I got the drop perpendiculars dropped in and also let me drop in a perpendicular in this. Now in case of this I would like to find the area of triangle ABC. Now clearly when I observe here I identify that since the coordinate of B is x2 y2 this distance is x2 and since this is the coordinate of x1 which is x1 this is x1 and this coordinate is x3. So I get this to be x2, x1 and x3 as can be seen with each of the cases. Now therefore when I wanted to find area of triangle ABC I use the geometrical property area of triangle ABC is area of trapezium BDEA is nothing but area of trapezium BDEA BDEA plus area of trapezium AEFC plus area of trapezium AEFC minus area of trapezium BDFC. So this plus this minus this gives me the triangle. Therefore area of this trapezium plus area of this trapezium minus the whole of the trapezium below that is BDFC gives me the area of triangle ABC is how we do each of the trapeziums. So when I just start with the first area of trapezium, I identify that area of trapezium is half h into a plus b where h is the height and a and b are the parallel sides. So therefore when I use this b d e a I get this to be half h that is half times d e times sum of parallel sides which is AE plus BD because the trapezium I considered here is this where this is H and this is these two are the parallel sides therefore half H into A plus B that is AE plus BD the parallel sides AE plus BD is what I get as area of trapezium BDEA similarly I would like to find the area of the trapezium AEFC is similarly with the same formula half h a plus b. So let's see what is the height and the parallel sides in trapezium AEFC. So as I see the trapezium AEFC, I see the height as EF half times EF times sum of parallel sides CF plus AE is what I get. CF plus AE are the two parallel sides which I get here. Similarly, when I want to subtract the trapezium BDFC, then in this case, my height is DF. So half H into A plus B, that is CF plus BD is what I get in finding the areas of each of the trapeziums. Now I want to convert each of them into x and y coordinates. So let's see how each one of them is obtained. Now as I got x2, x1 and x3 for this, similarly I get this to be y2 and I get this to be ae which I get it as y1 and cf which I get to be y3. So I get this to be y1 y2 and y3 is what I get when I consider the three different cases of the y coordinates. So as using each of x1, x2, x3 and y1, y2, y3 dimensions, let's convert each of them into the respective x and y coordinates. Now to start with de, as I see de, this is nothing but wo e minus wo d is de. Therefore, wo e is x1 
and what d is x2 therefore de is x1 minus x2 therefore i get this first one to be x1 minus x2 for de similarly my ae is what i need to find first as i see here my ae is nothing but directly the y1 which i have obtained here therefore my ae is y1 and let's see what bd is now as i come with bd i clearly see that this bd is nothing but y2 therefore in place of bd i substitute y2 now this has to be carefully carefully observed because each of the lengths are measured approximately exactly through the x and y coordinates taken on the diagram so diagram is very important when we substitute the whole of this with this similarly let me fill up the next of the term that is half times of ef now as i see ef in the diagram this is nothing but the whole of wo f minus wo e gives me ef now wo f is x3 and wo e is x1 therefore x3 minus x1 is ef so in place of ef i take x3 minus x1 is what i get to continue further my cf is nothing but let's see what exactly is cf here as i see my cf is clearly y3 therefore in place of cf i can substitute this y3 and my ae is here which is clearly y1 which is already substituted here as y1 so this comes as y1 now coming to the next minus half of df let's see what df is in the diagram so my df is clearly wo f minus wo d so wo f is x3 and my wo d is x2 therefore x3 minus x2 gives me df so in place of df i get x3 minus x2 on substitution through the diagram similarly my cf along y y axis is clearly cf which is y3 as already taken so this will be y3 now let's see what is bd as i see bd in the diagram it is clearly bd is y2 as seen in the diagram clearly plus y2 which i get in the diagram now next i would like to simplify by taking all of the half common from the given coordinates so let's take each of the common coordinates here so that this reduces to finally half times of x1 minus x2 of y1 plus y2 plus x3 minus x1 times y3 plus y1 minus x3 minus x2 times y3 plus y2 is what i get when i simplify all the three terms taken with half common now expanding the whole of the brackets and taking x1 x2 and x3 common respectively i get x1 times this would be x1 times y2 minus y3 plus x2 times of y3 minus y1 plus x3 times of y1 minus y2 is what i get as the entire area now because area cannot be negative there is a possibility that this coordinates may give a negative answer because the coordinates can be on the left or the right or can be positive or negative negative sign indicates direction but since they are included in the formula it may give us a negative area therefore it is always safe that we put modulus for the area therefore this when reduced to the modulus i have area of triangle 
ABC is given by half times mod of x1 times y2 minus y3 plus x2 times y3 minus y1 plus x3 times y1 minus y2 of square units because area is always in the square units. This is how we find area of this triangle ABC using the coordinates x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3. The area of triangle ABC is the derived formula there.